Tonight, I'm confronting one of Britain's biggest taboos. There's always been the stigma of mental illness. We go back to the witch burning. I have clinical depression, which I never told anybody about until a couple of years ago. I uh, recently became a poster girl for mental illness. Yeah, it was, a, it was a career choice. I'm gonna show you where I got help, at the Priory. Oh yeah, this is the way. Nope. <laughs> Coming clean about my condition has really helped me. God, when I was here, I was so not in this condition. But most people suffer in silence, particularly at work. Now, I wanna support three people as they risk their careers by telling their colleagues about their mental illness. I've tweeted, are you successful in your business and suffering from mental illness? Would you talk about it on television? It took me a really long time to find anyone prepared to be open. Then 28-year-old Charlotte Fantelli responded to my tweet. She's a successful entrepreneur and has OCD. I probably wash my hands 25 times a day. There was a time I did it about 60 to 100. See, squeaky clean. Ah, that's a good sign. And I found design engineer Derek, who's 30 and has depression like me you think the best thing for you to do is get away from everybody and not put them through what you're going through. Service, please. Finally, I met Johnny, a great chef who loves running his own restaurant, but recently committed TV Harry Carey. I'm gonna give you a two out of 10. No, it's pointless. Johnny felt he totally let himself down, which triggered a breakdown. Well, I thought about suicide. I oh, would do it. Fuck it, idiot. But one in five people lose their jobs when their bosses discover they have mental health problems. So is it madness to speak out? Um, Derek Lior, could you come up here? Find out what happens when Derek, Charlotte, and Johnny tell all. Service, please.